Hey boys and girls, and we're back with more Pathfinder Kingmaker. Thanks for joining me. We will continue on to this lovely banquet and most likely cloak and dagger kind of party. And Kasai's back. Let's see, she wants to drink with me. Uh, to beauty. To beauty. It sweetens our happy days and brings solace to our dark and sorrowful ones. Mm -hmm. But jokes aside, I came to apologize. I know the words I said in our conversation with Lady Aldery might have offended you, but this was not my intention. The lessons life has dealt me were not easy. I've learned to be wary of new acquaintances, which is why I've refused to join your party. I hope you will forgive me for this weakness and for my harsh words. And I hope you will hear me out, for I have something to tell you. No need to apologize. I don't expect everyone I meet to immediately fall under my charms and entrust me with all their secrets. How amusing. Usually, those who don't seek affection are the very ones who receive it. Anyway, enough sweet talk. There is something important I wanted to tell you. I'm listening. As it happens, I came across some very valuable information. What brave conqueror of these wild lands wouldn't be intrigued by news of an ancient shrine? Possibly full of great treasures. A place such as this was discovered by my old friends from Kadira. And it just so happens to be located in the lands that today become rightfully yours. My friends lack the courage to enter the shrine and seek the treasure, but what will stop us? We who know the taste of battle and have been singed by the same fire. Well, I do like treasure. I do. I mean, I'm down. I'm sure you'd like to finally gain your official title and celebrate your victory. And I don't like noisy parties and ceremonies. Find me when you return to your dominion. I'll rent a house in your capital. We can discuss the details of our expedition there. Okay, she wants so the treasure hunt. Friend. I'm down. I'll call you so today because soon enough... All you'll be hearing is, Your Grace, Your Grace, Your Grace. <laughs> Treating you with a cup uh, and typhling girl steps back and disappears in the shadows between the columns. Mm. Alright. We will deal with that later. Alright. I still have no idea what to expect in any of this anything could literally happen anything okay I already talked to him I already talked to him so Ah yes, I see good old uh, rest stop hasn't changed a bit. Even the smell of the streets is the same. Tala Sertova. Ah, that's the one she spoke of me to. Is discussing something with, uh, with an unfamiliar old lady in a low voice. Upon noticing you, she breaks into a uh, sweet smile. You were, uh, you were not only uh, tough but quick. Well, congratulations on your victory. Enjoy it while you can. That did sound like a threat. <laughs> I would never. I simply wish to warn you in case you don't fully realize the fate that awaits you in your uh, uh, barony. What do you think awaits me? Nothing good, I fear. The Aldori, our dearest friends, didn't deem it necessary to inform you of their plans, I assume. 
You see they're preparing to separate from Bravoy. It will not be a peaceful process. They lack the strength currently. Ah, uh, that's right. They wanted to break off Bravoy and become independent. That's right. Hence using this uh, legal uh, loophole to create some independent allies. Once the civil war breaks out, your lands will be the first to endure a strike from Bravoy's uh, forces. Perhaps they'll erect a memorial stone in independent uh, rest off to honor you. Well, count on any even uh, on even that really I want to hear what she has to say in your situation the most reasonable course of action would be to align yourself with the lawful rulers of Bravoy the noble houses the Aldori won't dare to rebel uh, knowing they will immediately become entrapped you could uh, help Bravoy avoid a civil war while simultaneously enjoying some well-deserved peace in your lands I believe I uh, uh, Jumandi has already attempted to impose a guard on you as an emissary I'm guessing her low-born stepson the green-skinned boy Casil oh she has it he's she she has she has it. she's got her nose and everything huh it's up to you, of course, but I would recommend you a different envoy. Please meet uh, Chandra uh, Mervy, an experienced diplomat who's most familiar with Bravois politics than any brawler could uh, be. Okay, the old woman standing next to Natala gives you a slight bow. I would be happy to help you establish diplomatic relations with Bravois. Mm. I'll consider your proposal. Think on it. Do not make any hasty decision. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. People are trying to get in my ass. Let's guess over here. Hey, fellow orc. What's up? What's up, bro? Today is a historic day for Ristoff and maybe for all Bravoy. That's Casile. An older man with full sideburns uh, looks at you with interest through a gold uh, eyeglass. Uh, well now, if it isn't the hero of the festivities, the pro uh, protege of our dear Jamandi. You pulled this uh, all off uh, quite cleverly, I confess. I wasn't convinced your uh, enterprise would succeed. I even bet a bottle of my best Pataxian wine against you. But I'm happy to admit I was wrong. The Aldori have been adept at finding new talent. I don't believe we were introduced. So it would seem I am uh, Isof uh, uh, Selimus, uh, Lord Mayor of Restoff. I rule this town and the adjacent lands as your northern neighbor. I hope we can look forward to a long and fruitful friendship. Okay. Alright. Okay. What about the Eldori? Ah, Bravois politics seem complex and incomprehensive to many. Here in this uh, part of uh, Ruslan, the spirit of North Freedom still lives. We are loyal to the throne, of course. May the gods uh, prolong the life of his highness. But here, far from the dominions and of the great houses, we have our own way of life. It is especially uh, important now, after the certain events that I probably don't need to name. The Aldori sword lords used to rule Rossland. They're still the largest uh, land o uh, owners and main military force in the region. But it's not for nothing that Ristoff is called a free city. We're proud to choose uh, the Lord Mayor from among the citizens, considered not to uh, buy the lineage, but their own merits. I like that. I like that. What kind of events were you talking about? Mayor Selmus gives you a patronizing smile. While you, an aspiring uh, politician, needs to be well informed, I'm talking, of course, about the disappearance of the ruling house, Regarvia. Oh. Founded by the descendants of Coral, the Conqueror, and Miran Garvia, daughter of the Nikos uh, Sertova. Most members of the house disappeared mysteriously. Okay. 
called the Vanishing. Can you imagine it? Old Man Coral conquered our land two centuries ago. It would be a shameless lie to say that nobody wished uh, his royal house could just disappear into thin air, but once that exact thing happened, turned out, nobody was ready for it. Poof, all over the country. Every member of the royal house disappeared without a trace. Nobody knows what happened. It is a mystery, but a mystery uh, pregnant with uh, opportunity for everyone. How are things in Restoff? I don't want to boast, but things have been going well in recent years. Traders, uh, trade pro uh, prospers, the population grows, and the citizens are happy. Although recently, especially after the disappearance of House Regarvia, more and more troublemakers have been appearing and people are talking about the most shocking things, but those sort of rumors aren't uh, worthy of your attention. Well, it was nice meeting you. Goodbye. Please wait a moment. Your young Barney will need uh, resources to uh, establish itself, and from what I've been told, you're somewhat in need of financial assistance. I could organize and supply everything you need for the construction and spread out the cost on uh, extremely favorable terms. I could immediately uh, procure, let's say, 500 uh, cartloads of uh, building supplies. I'm sure that would give you a good start. In exchange, I would uh, ask a small favor. Until you repay the debt in full, you simply assume the obligation of contracting building services through Restoff's Builders gu uh, Guild. Do we have a deal? Sounds like a fair deal to me. Okay, so I'll be in debt in full. You simply assume the obligation of contracting the building services through Restoff's Builders Guild. Okay. I like that deal. Let's do it. And it's a deal. I'll get everything in order right away and schedule a delivery immediately. Alright then. Millennium's Mutual, I assure you, I look forward to hearing more of your dazzling successes soon. Alright. Let's quick save real quick. So, how do you like our little gathering? I hope you've made some useful connections. Shall we move on to the official proceedings? Before we begin, I'd like to talk about the envoy I'll be taking My apprentice, Cassiel Aldori, will go with you. Won't he? I'm definitely not, uh... I'm definitely not taking... Chandra. That's just not happening. I, I could smell bullshit on there all over. Could take my boy Casil. Could. Young Lander intrigues me a little bit. But he hasn't given me any like little information. He doesn't trust me. The man doesn't trust me. He's like, hey, let me be your envoy. Okay. Well, where are you from? I wish not to delve further. And I'm like, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to trust you if I can't even know which house you're in or anything? The young lander kid? Nah, I can't I, I choose I choose Casile. Whatever you choose, I won't argue. But you must choose your inner circle with the utmost care. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's true. Very true. Okay. I'm ready for the Excellent. ceremony. Stand here. Okay. Lords and ladies, today we are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the stolen lands. 
Baron Hannes Drelev, the new master of Glinnabar, Captain Mager Varn, the conqueror of Dunsward, and finally, the tamer of the Shrike Hills, who put an end to the atrocities of the Stag Lord's bandits. That's me. Step forward. Yes, my lady. On behalf of the people of the free city of Restov, I confer upon you this noble title. I do Rise like your grace. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, young. I wasn't choosing that one lady. That was just fact. That wasn't happening. Um. Young Lander was just like, hey, uh, hey, what's up? Uh, I know stuff. And I was like, okay, that's great. That's great. Who are you? I wish not to tell you. Victory. The Stag Lord's dead. And the capital of the new barony has been built in place of his fort. That was how the long and challenging taming of the Stolen Lands began. Yeah, we're not done yet. We just began. Greetings, Baron. Ah, Gaston. I'm calling him Gaston, I'm sorry. Welcome, Your Grace. Oh, well, he's right about the Your Grace thing. Let me introduce you again, congratulate you on your victory and your new title. Uh, Lady Jamandi transferred uh, me here. I am at your disposal. I'm not one to bestow honors, but I want you to know I'm glad to serve you. I'm here to welcome you on behalf of your new capital citizens. The Stag Lord's uh, former stronghold will soon be a thriving city. Word travels fast, and the first settlers have already arrived, and new ones approach as we speak. While you were visiting Restoff, much has been done here. Your benefactors, the Aldori, invested a great deal of resources in rebuilding the city. I stand ready to answer your questions and to show you around the most important uh, sites. The main question is, uh, where can I get a drink? Three, it's time to toast my victory. Nah, not right now. It's time to get work. Well, where are my companions? They're all somewhere around here, but I never kept an eye on who went where exactly. Well, I assumed Tristan is with Jode, and you can always find Lindsay. She just follows the noise of turmoil and turmoil. Are there any citizens I should know about? Our old acquaintance Jode is uh, right here. It's, uh... Crystal's uh, clerics normally don't like cities uh, much, but he's eager to serve you. Also, the emissary from Bravoy is here waiting f uh, for you in the throne room. There's also this curious matter. An elf has paid us a visit. A blind elf. Desna? Only knows how he managed to get here. He seems a peaceful, even pleasant fellow. Though naturally a little odd, so I let him stay a while. It's up to you to decide what to do with him. That's about it, I guess. What's the mood of the people here? I must admit, I've never seen anything like that whole life. Um, a city, a whole barony, born right in front of our eyes. The people sense the moment, and uh, today we're feeling proud. As a rule, I'm not too cheerful or chatty. I normally feel out of place among all rejo rejoicing, but today is just one of those days. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to look around the city. Lead the way. Follow me. Fighting that guy, Bow. How dare you? We're selecting a site to build your house. It's uh, wet near the lake and windy up on the hill. A fine place to throw garbage at your neighbor's heads, though. Ouch. <laughs> this guy. This guy. It's a good thing you got rid of those monsters and bandits, Your Grace. Alright. 
Do you recognize this place, Your Grace? This is where the Stag Lord's Fortress, uh, well, was our... Okay. So everything's changed in this area, alright. The heart of every town is its main square. We plan to hold, uh, street festivals and fairs here. Look, we already have our first vendor. Nice, nice. Nice. Greetings, Regress. If you turn to the right of the square, you'll end up straight uh, in our tavern. Nice. That's where we need to go. The tavern's ale is blessed by Caden uh, Kaleen himself, I swear. And the lady who owns it is, uh, I don't know. Heard our baron is tall as a troll, has hair of pure gold, and can breathe fire. What? Uh, that's all nonsense. Well, except for the part about breathing fire. All barons can breathe fire. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> Welcome, you grace. Glad to serve you. He's like, oh, fuck. I've been found out. Yes. Bow. I feel the power. Your grace, those are our guards. They keep the order. There's harem right there. Here's the observation platform of hope one day your capital will uh, grow large enough that you won't be able to see to its full extent from this perch. Nice, I like that. I wonder if it does change. Well, I'll find out. The building in front of us is your residence. That's where uh, we'll head to now. new place Ooh. <laughs> sorry sorry all right you get a, you get one taste of power and then you just start acting stupid oh, I hate it oh, I hate it oh, I hate it welcome to your barony you are uh, about to make the unyielding stolen ants of prosperous kingdom there is a long and arduous road ahead of you you and your advisors are going to deal with matters of national importance found and build up the settlement seat thank you I appreciate that you're gone okay so now we've reached the main chambers this is the throne room where you'll hold court and receive visitors draw your attention to this large map depicting uh, your barony and its surroundings we'll mark the important scout uh, reports and other news worthy of your grace's attention. Greetings, your grace. Cassiel, uh, Lady Jamandi's ward, gives a polite bow. It was a pleasure to meet you at the Ristava reception. On behalf of your allies and the benefactors, the Aldori Swordlands, I'd like to uh, offer you some advice. Okay. Let's see. Loyalty is at a plus six. I bet it would be different. I bet it would be different. If I chose somebody else. I know the economy isn't all that high and the military is not all that high, but the community, I'm all about that. New event, uh, the trade agreement with Sertova, agreement with uh, Isof Solomonis. Okay, so I got new events to do. Rebuild the Temple of Elk. Okay, got it. You can solve most of your barony's problems by granting appointments to the right people, responsible uh, people. But certain uh, state business will demand your attention. As well, the visits of especially important guests, reports of such outstanding events will be marked on your map. You can always check it while uh, considering your plans. According to the ancient traditions of Bravois and most of the uh, river kingdoms, rulers address affairs of state and uh, receive visitors at the beginning of the month. My advice to you is to maintain this tradition and regularly visit your capital when needed. The first thing you should do as a ruler is assign loyal people 
to all of uh, all the important positions in your barony. Okay, what, what's up with that cat doing like a weird dance over there? Oh, are those all my pets? Oh, they're, they're all just going crazy. First thing you should do as a ruler is assign loyal people to all their important positions of the barony. Your clerics, Jode uh, and Tristan, uh, were the first to seek an audience. I won't distract you further, and I'll leave you to consider. Uh, once again, my congratulations. May you rule uh, by long and prosperous. Okay, we got we got we got that orc life going on right now. Orc life. Your Grace, allow me to congratulate you on receiving the title of Baron. I am confident that you will be able to bring order to the troubled lands. Okay. Though to be honest, that isn't exactly what we wanted to speak to you about. Tristan and I have been talking to a great deal about what happened at the Temple of Elk. It doesn't uh, all make sense to us yet, but one thing is clear. There's a powerful curse at work. It corrupted the very essence of the sacred uh, place, steeping it with uh, putri putrescence. Ugh. I am disgusted with whoever could do this. Okay, and now there is a new woe. Tristan and I, the curse did not simply disperse of its own accord. There is a place near the capital rumored by the locals to be cursed. Tristan and I visited the dreadful place, and we felt the same uh, per persistence uh, as at the Temple of Elk. What is this place, and where is it? There is a bald hilltop not far from here, to the north of the capital. Its crown is entirely barren of life. The locals believe that rituals glorifying the dark gods were held there back in the ancient times. There is no longer of such rituals, but the air around the hilltop is heavy to the point of stifling. This place is uh, like a, ro a rotting or a wound, uh, closed but not healed. And this would, uh, uh, this wound will undoubtedly open again. Tristan and I felt something approaching, something ominous. The curse will soon return to the plague us once more. I swear by Istro. Okay. I will go, go as soon as I am able. I would be happy to accompany you, but I would not expect to see anything new there as present. Okay. I agree with Tristan. We have been to this hilltop. It's barren, but filled with dense atmosphere of unease. What do you suggest? The curse will grow in its strength and will uh, predict, uh, and we predict it will reach the peak of its strength in about a month. That's uh, when we should uh, visit the bald hilltop and resolve the issue. For now, we can only wait and prepare. We beg your pardon, your grace, for intervening uh, with you and getting the grasp of your barony. I'm sure you have more pressing matters at hand right now. I mean, that sounds... One day has passed. Okay. Oh, man. Being the boss sucks. Uh, okay. The barony has ten basic stats, each supervised by the advisor. They are as follows. Population, regent, loyalty, counselor, military general, economy, treasurer, Divine High Priest, Relations, Grand Diplomat, Stability, Warden. Okay. Stats increase if your governance is successful and decrease if events don't end well. Or other negative factors are placed in your way. Don't let your barony stop, uh, stats drop to zero or lower. This will cause your subjects to riot and your state will begin to crumble. Each stat has certain milestones or ranks within e within them. Every uh, 20 points in a stat will increase your rank. Rank 1 unlocks the corresponding advisor position for that stat. For the development of the stat and the upgrades to it, ranks will be possible only if you have an advisor in their relevant position. Governing your barony will require one advisor for each stat. You may appoint your companies as well as some of the stolen land citizens into these advisor positions. Each of the ten positions that has at least three characters who are qualified to hold it. 
not all of these characters will be willing to serve you right away. Some of them will need to be convinced. Uh, appointing others will require completing an assignment for them or rendering them some uh, other uh, service. Every advisor acts on their own ideology. They have their own opinions on everything that happens in your domain. Therefore, you may want to select characters whose governance philosophy is consistent with your own. Uh, open the advisor tab on the right side of the screen. Click an empty slot and select a character to appoint them as an advisor. Okay. Okay. Don't let them go to zero or lower. Every barony stat uh, gains a bonus from a specific ability of the appointed advisor. The exact size of the bonus is indicated in the upper right corner of the advisor's card. Once advisors may address the problems, opportunities, and sudden events that occur in your domain and require immediate attention, don't leave these positions vacant. Okay. Events and positive parties, raids, um, uh, stuff like that, all that good stuff will have to be second. Any important negative issues have to be first and foremost, I understand. Choose a name for your barony. The name of the uh, barony cannot be changed later in the game. Cannot be changed. So it will no longer be called the Stolen Lands. It will be called... Hmm... Hardcore mode event lands, or yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, skip a day. What the fuck? No. Hmm. The barony is stable. People are content with their life and their ruler. Okay. Oh, I can upgrade espionage. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, village. Zero town, zero cities. Crisis points. Okay. Thirty-two BP per week. Stolen lands are lawful good right now. Okay, that's how we got it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, alright, calm down, calm down. Okay, alright. That's my settlements. Oh god. So much. So much stuff. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. It's all good, it's all good. It's all good. We're all good. We're good. Alright. First thing advisors. Uh, it looks like we have cards for almost everybody. High Priest. No matter what deity he serves, the High Priest strives to satisfy the spiritual needs of all citizens in the barony. Choose an advisor to fill this position. Advisors will act according to their position in government, their beliefs, and their alignment. Okay. Choose an advisor for this position. Okay. Harem? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it says plus four for Harem, but it's plus three for Joe. Uh, Joe does his best to solve problems without disrupting local traditions. Harem favors unusual but effective solutions. I'm not putting Harem in there. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, I don't care if he's he's four. Okay, I don't. <laughs> Alright, 
Jode, you do your best. He's at plus three. The treasurer's duty is to keep the coffers of the barony full and ensure any good spent, gold spent, is spent wisely. No candidates are available for this position. That's kind of disheartening. I bet the, the, the people that I would have available would change depending on uh, um, my barony or my uh, advisor. I bet. The general is the highest ranking officer in the army of the barony and is responsible for watching the borders and protecting the realm. Ooh. Oh, ha, 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 my girl. Hot-headed and direct. He strives to help all those in need. Favors the direct approach. Is hot-headed and direct. I uh, can't have somebody hot-headed fucking up shit. I gotta read those things at the bottom. I'm pretty sure they're important. The, I'll be back on that. The counselor deals with troubles of the common folk and helps settle lands, disputes, and agricultural matters. Matters. This advisor ensures citizens remain loyal to the throne. Hmm. Cares for the people. All. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Thank you, Tristan. Fucking cute ass son of a bitch. Sorry. The regent ensures subjects com uh, 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 subject complaints and concerns are heard by the ruler and serves as a link between... Okay, so the diplomat. Oh, she. Okay, so peaceful, peaceful matters and lawful matters. Hmm. Either one of them is good. The regent ensures subjects com uh, complaints and concerns are heard by their ruler and serves as a link between the baron and uh, the people. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is lawfully good. This one's probably going to be good, but a little bit chaotic. I mean, we can't... Like, if somebody ends up stealing our crops or something like that, we can't resolve the matter peacefully. If somebody steals from us, you gotta go. Regent. And she has told me countless of times. May, she's not into art, but she is into helping people. Like, she... If there's a matter that needs addressing, she will do it. Hmm. It's not going to be him. It's just not. It's... <laughs> He's gonna fuck me up. The general is the highest ranking officer in the army of the barony and is responsible for watching the borders and protecting the realm. Always strives to help those in need. Hmm. Don't just choose Amiri because she's cute, man. Hmm. Strives always to help those in need. Well, generals and other people, will they grow later? Or will they just always stay at four? Or at three?
is responsible for watching the borders and protecting the realm. Uh, uh. The thought of a Mary having a job just warms my heart. <laughs> what is that even? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I need a somebody for treasurer. We should fix that. Declare the Ausgards a part of your kingdom. Choose an advisor to handle this event. Advisors will act according to their position in government beliefs and alignment. Choose wisely. Requires 14 days to solve. That's half of a month. We also gotta take care of the uh, one. Hmm. Tristan. I mean, uh, Valeri. Sorry. <laughs> I think of Tristan all the time. Start and claim. Uh, or you can change it. You can remove a visor. Let's claim. You may claim new regions to expand your territory. Open the regions tab on the right side of the screen and select the relevant uh, project at the bottom of the screen. Claiming region will allow you to significantly increase your barony's stats and found settlements in new lands. Here is what you must do to claim a new region. Meet special uh, regional conditions, that is, complete a quest for or reach a certain rank in one of the stats, collect sufficient BP for the claim, find an unoccupied advisor who can take the charge of the claim. As soon as you start the Kingdom Project to claim a region, time will automatically speed up for the next 14 days. The time it takes for you and your advisor to claim the region. After the new territory is claimed and you're annexed into your dominion, the bear, uh, boundaries of the state will change and you will receive all the bonus granted by the claimed region. Okay. One of your barony stats have reached 20 points. It's time for you to increase its rank. First, meet your advisor and discuss the future of the state. To do so, return to your capital and click the button on the appropriate event card in the throne room. Whatever choices you make, remember, your advisors may disapprove. If the cur uh, current advisor decides that you argue too much, they will quit forever. Hmm. After you talk to your advisor and make an, a decision, a new kingdom project will become available that will increase a uh, stat rank. You can find it at the bottom of the center of the screen on the projects tab. It will take you and your advisors 14 days to complete the project. Time will be automatically sp uh, sped up until the project is completed. Clay the outskirts. Success, your barony has expanded. It now uh, includes the outskirts. One settlement can be established in this region. Name this settlement. Um, what should I name this settlement? Okay. We can just name it Trade Guard. That's fine.
harem has a request, counselor awaits. Oh god, 14 days have passed. Oh god. I might have to go back because 14 days is a lot. I might. We'll see. I'm sorry to take you away from your affairs, but your people need you. When the stolen eyes were freed from the stag lord, the people saw it in relief, but many are still confused by the swift change of uh, fortune. Uh, truth be told, they simply don't know what to think of their new baron. Now what to, uh, to expect of you? Will you be a fair ruler for all, or only for those of wealth and status? Let us reassure your people. Show them uh, where your favor uh, truly rests. Perhaps a small celebration would help to win them over. Of course, you could spend the same uh, amount on a luxurious dinner for the wealthiest of your barony. But I recommend organizing a fair for the common people, the ones upon whose shoulders your uh, power truly resides. These, the common folk have already been through too much with, with the Stag Lord. They deserve something. We shall... Yeah, we shall hold a fair for the common people. I want them to know what I hold, uh, what I hold them closest to my heart. We will hold a common, a ce uh, common celebration where everyone will be welcome, including the poor and the downtrodden. This is the greatest gift a ruler can give to his people. Okay, community and culture has been up. New event support. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Tristan. Looks embarrassed. He runs his fingers through his beard. I heard... No, no, that isn't important, but well. I heard that an ancient trade road uh, built by uh, the dwarves of the five king mountains runs uh, through these lands. I don't know what happened to them or where they went. Unforgiving times uh, uh, spares no one, but the road itself is still here. And possible not only the road... I have a request. If you'd find any dwarven ruins in the area, I'd like to see them with my own eyes. Why do you ask this? I shouldn't probably, but it's like a wound that nears never heals. You know it will only hurt more, but you still need to scratch it. Of course, it's foolish, foolish in vain, but still I wish to look, uh, look at them. Of course, Aram, if I find any dwarven wounds, to them. Thank you. Your Grace, I was at Oleg's trading post recently and I noticed old Boken just standing there, bored to death with nothing to do. This is most unfortunate. After all, the old grumbler is a very knowledgeable alchemist. However, he has no use for his skills since the locals need nothing more than the simplest healing potions. And then it struck me, why don't we hire him as our court alchemist? His uh, decoctions and tinc uh, tinctures could uh, certainly prove most useful. Ooh. Alright. Are we done? Jeez. 